welcome back to another Ramrod Recommends. Today we're going to talk about the new British horror movie Ghost Stories. Ghost Stories was written and directed by Jeremy Dyson, who was one of the writers behind The League of Gentlemen, and Andy Nyman, who was one of the writers behind all of Darren Brown's stuff. Darren Brown was that TV sort of psychic illusionist guy, and Andy Nyman basically wrote all the TV specials for him. He was also in such great horror movies as Dead Set and Severance. He plays the lead in this movie. His character is that of a man of science who spends his day debunking psychics and disproving any supernatural activity. He's quite a negative sort of character. He's got, he's got no faith. He's got no belief in anything but what you can see and what you can feel. He idolised a guy from back in the 70s who kind of did the similar sort of thing and this guy disappeared off the radar and nobody ever knew what happened to him. Out of the blue, Andy Nyman's character is offered three cases of paranormal activity that nobody can disprove and he is challenged to go in there with all his expertise and all his scientific beliefs and just put a name to what these people experienced or saw or felt. That is the basic structure of this movie but fuck me is there a hell of a lot more to this film. This is one of those movies where it plays out kind of like a creep show, like a bit of a portmanteau but there is more to it. It's kind of got a big ribbon wrapped around the whole thing and tied on the top. It's a thinking man's horror film is what I call this. I can't give you a lot of spoilers about it because like the Ghost Story stage play, which was hugely successful, people going in were warned not to share any of the secrets of the stage play once they'd finished watching it. Anybody going into this movie already knowing what happens in the stage play will kind of have the movie spoiled for them. Well, not spoiled, but they'll just kind of know what's going to happen. This is sort of like a M. Night Shyamalan sort of spoiler. If you knew the things that went on in this movie, it would ruin it for you. That aside, this is a very, very well-made film. And the great thing about Ghost Stories is I found it was instantly relatable. And oh boy, did it scare the shit out of me. This has got a sort of a Session 9 vibe about it in places. It's certainly got some Lynchian moments in it. Jeremy Dyson is a very, very good horror director. And these guys should make more horror movies if they write them themselves or work off other people's scripts. It's a beautiful looking movie. It doesn't scream big budget, but the use of camera techniques and filming open doorways where you can't really see what's in the darkness. Um, sound design's really good in it as well. It, it does play on some, you know, tried and tested horror tropes, but they didn't write it yesterday. This is a thing that was written a long time ago. So maybe some of the stuff in it doesn't feel as fresh as it probably did when it was seen on the stage. It's not without its laughs. It has got a couple of laughs in there and they are there on purpose, don't worry. It's not the sort of film you laugh at because it's stupid. They are there to sort of alleviate the tension a little bit because it is a very foreboding story. It's a very depressing tone. It's drenched in dread. It was quite interesting that when the movie finished, the two stupid teenage girls behind us that had come in thinking it was the next fucking Bloom House horror film said that was shit. Well, quite clearly you didn't understand what was going on in it because you weren't fucking paying attention. This is a really brilliant, really well made, very effective and scary horror movie. To talk briefly about the plot and what goes on in it, I can give you some spoiler free tasters. Basically, he meets three separate people. The first one is a night watchman who's guarding what used to be a mental institution for women. He's guarding it overnight and something is haunting him there. The second story is of a young boy who may or may not be getting affected by a satanic force in his house. And the third story is of a poltergeist which may or may not have been affecting this very rich guy and his wife who was pregnant. These three stories are all connected. This movie is bookended as well, so there, it does tie everything together nicely. I think it's a, a real nice sort of old school British horror film. And like I say, rural horror is really brilliant. If you think of stuff like Ben Wheatley's Sightseers and Kill List, and even some old Hammer horror movies. Obviously, Jeremy Dyson behind it, he's a big Hammer horror fan. Andy Nyman gives it that psychology 
which only his writing could give it. It's a really, really brilliant horror film. The acting is brilliant in it. I mean, Martin Freeman from The Hobbit. Uh, Paul Whitehouse, who's a really well-known British comedian, plays a real br different sort of role in this, and he's excellent in it. And Andy Nyman himself as the lead is really interesting because as he starts off being very confident and kind of knowing everything there is to know about what is perceived as a supernatural. There's a great moment in this movie where he is in a perilous situation and his reaction is, I don't like it. And that's exactly how I fucking felt at this point in the film. Everything I've just seen, everything I've just felt, I don't like it. Not because it's crap, but because it's scaring the shit out of me, make it stop. Ghost Stories is a big recommendation from Ramrod, but I kind of knew it was going to be a great movie going in. When you've got this sort of talent behind it, you're not really going to get a shit product at the end of it. Brilliant movie, highly recommended, and pay attention, because like I say, you need to use your brain a little bit. What a great film. So we hope you enjoyed this uh, review of Ghost Stories. I hope it was spoiler free. I think I did my best. And uh, we'll see you again for another review on Ramra Recommends. So sleep tight and bye for now.